Louvre Museum was originally modified by King Philip II to be a fortress. Originally called the Louvre Palace, this place was a palace for Philip II to hide from vassals. Vassals were landowners who were paying rent and duties to Philip II, who was supposed to be protecting them, and obviously things weren't going so well. At this time, France was not exactly stable, and it wouldn't be until the announcement of the Third Crusade. The Louvre Museum would open for business during the First Revolution, in which the revolutionaries felt it would be a place for the public to be able to view and experience the epitomes of modern science and arts. Under Napoleon, the museum was renamed the Napoleon Museum, and with every land he conquered, he would steal their art, add it to the collection. Under Napoleon, the Louvre moved from a large museum to the largest in the entire world. The Louvre is still one of the largest museums in the world, and has one of the largest collections in the world. There are said to be over 300,000 pieces of art stored at the Louvre that are not in display. And as Leopold says, they're... And he did this monologue about how all the best things in life are hidden in people's basements. Like the Louvre. I'm sorry, you were saying Charles. No, right, what, just... about, what about the Louvre? Tell us what you were going to say. Well, only a fraction of the Louvre is on the walls. The rest is in the basement. You've been in the basement of the Louvre. This achievement will require you to do a few things. First off, select Napoleon. France, obviously, pretty simple. Your best bet is go with a huge map with archipelagos. And what this will do is allow you to get far more relics, more artists, uh, more nations to choose from for variety. And uh, that's all good, but it also reduces your chance of actually making the Louvre. So on top of this, you'll also need to have a bit of medium range difficulty because if you don't do this, the computer players sometimes and often do not actually form culture that you will need. So in order to get this achievement you'll need the Louvre. It has four art slots. The bonus is achieved by getting two great art pieces and two artifacts. Each one of them has to be from a different era and be from a different civilization. To do this you have to swap great art with two civilizations and hence why you're playing on a huge map. You can either swap the artifacts, or you can actually just open up border trees and dig up their bases. You will have the proper balance of art and artifacts if you have a plus 8 to the Louvre bonus. To get the full plus 16 that you need for the achievement, you have to max out Aesthetics Tree. Once you have that Aesthetics Tree done, the achievement should be complete. Good luck!